So today I have a bit of a game for you. We're gonna play a round of Would You Rather. So just picking between the two options and then briefly telling me why you would choose one or the other. So first up, would you rather screw up every single take yourself or have somebody else screw up your best take? Somebody screw up my best take. Who is the most likely to screw up a take in this cast? David Harbour. Actually, nobody ever has really screwed anything. I mean, because David and I had such a shorthand together that it was like we couldn't screw each other up because, you know, we, we met and we had this chippy, re great relationship. Chippy but like a father and a son who'd been separated or whatever. So when it came to him to put on all his accoutrements, you know, the horns and the tail, they were just like, oh, Dave, you know, whatever, because he never saw them as weird. So there's never any sense of seeing somebody on the set who's six foot five and red and got horns as weird. It's just, that's, you know, that's the Hellboy. And we talked, so it was natural. So he'd speak totally normally most of the time, and, you know, well, all the time. So you never knew. So there was no real screw-ups unless they were, it's always lighting that screws up. Let's get that face for It's always lighting that screws up. They're always fiddling with some other lamp. Nothing. Isn't that right? There's only two lights here. We're fine. No, it's I think true. They're always, a good job. No, it's like, oh, well, nowadays, no, they have this dit, you know, on the spec. No, I mean, you've no idea on nowadays on, on, on movies what they've got. I mean, you ask any, any, this will be interesting. You ask any DP 15 years ago, they go, oh, I love the days of film. I want to go back to the days of film when I, I could feel it in my hands and cut it. Not one of them would go back and do film anymore. Because everything, they can do anything now. Yeah. Fiddle like this, you got a dinosaur set with the electric, the dit set, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, can we make that a little punch? She wants to say, excuse me, it's our turn now, you know. Will you just go away and fiddle somewhere else while we act the scene, which is really, no, just, just a second one. Changing the game big time. Changing Makes their the jobs no, hopefully no. a little easier, and it also gives everybody... It was never that easy. It was always, yeah, yeah, makes it a little easier. Yeah, yeah, when and it gives get. people out there the luxury who might not have had it before to be able to make uh, oh, films no, on their own. Oh, no, the thing is you can do whatever you want now with yeah. movies. I mean, that's the great... And why? Then this is what these big movies are about. I mean, it's like saying, how can you outdo... And you'll continue. Think of what will happen when VR comes in. Which everybody said, you know it's going to happen. I mean, people poo-poo it forever, but technology always wins out in the end. You know, you can't help it. It's like saying, you'll change. You say, no, you'll have to change before the future's going to change, because it's going to happen anyway. Yeah. Um, but VR will be extraordinary. I, mean, I did a, I did a, a thing, like a 10-minute short, which and it was a, uh, what do you call it, an, a, an animation film. But it, they did it in VR. It was incredible. I watched it. So God knows how they'll figure it out, but Hellboy and VR, can you imagine amongst those scenes? I end? would be in for that. Yeah. All right, would you rather, speaking of this being a bit of a yeah. remake, would you rather see the Deadwood movie remade in 10 years or John Wick remade in 10 years? Oh gosh, um, probably in 10 years, John Wick will still be going. I would hope so. I mean, you know, you know, you never know. Keanu might be running the hotel and everything by then. But you don't know, I mean, it's like, uh, no, Deadwood we just finished. I saw it the other day. So we, Tim and I, a few comments. I think it's, yeah, it's okay. It's I like good. hearing that. Yeah, it's good. Again, it's, you know, don't expect an episodic piece. It's a dip, difficult when you've got to make a two-hour movie of an episodic TV. So there's a lot of, but I think they got the setting right, they got the links right, and they got everybody back, which is really great. Because they, they could have made, you know, Seth and Al ride the high country together. That wouldn't have been Deadwood. That would just be me and Tim sort of catching in. This is Milch, Deadwood, yeah, circa 10 years later. Statehood, difficulty, characters have moved on, they're a little changed, which is great, should be. The John Wick, the world of John Wick is being explored in the next one. I mean, um, yeah, that will be more about the high table. You find out about, more about, you know, uh, him, his background, whatever preparing for who knows what the hell will happen next time. I can't wait. It gets bigger. I think you'll enjoy that <laughs> yeah? too. Yeah.